Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help. So today we're going to be talking about Live Type and Final Cut Express. I'm going to do a very basic tutorial for you guys, just showing you how um, to create text in Live Type and import it into Final Cut Express, and a couple of the advantages of using the two in conjunction with each other at the same time. Um, a couple of tips here. So, um, starting a new project in Live Type, I'm going to come up here to the top, and I'm going to type in Frank's Tech. Hip. Now I left the L out right here on purpose um, because I'm going to show you another example of a tip here in just a few minutes. So, all right. So I'm going to double click to highlight all of the text. As you see over here, it's all highlighted now, and you can come in and adjust the size and whatever. So I'll go about yay big right there. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to come in and drop an effect over. And if you click on the effects. Uh, link right here on the side. You'll see that there's quite a view of various effects and it shows you a little preview um, up here in this window. So um, let's go ahead and pick out something. Jumping beans or jumpy. Okay, I'll, I'll just go with jumpy for the heck of it. So there we have it. I'm going to click, come down here and click apply. Now that that's applied, I can come over here and click the play button. You'll see it right there. It's jumping around. All right, now you see how the text went away, but the timeline's still running. If you come down here to this edge, you can take this and drag this to the end of your project right there. Um, you can also give yourself some extra space at the end, and then if you want, you can drag the text out. Um, you can stretch these out to make it longer or shorter um, just by grabbing onto the end like that right there. So, okay. And um, so anyway, if you want to bring this down to where it's a continuous loop for preview purposes, you can bring your timeline right to the end of that clip right there and then click play. And you'll see text jumping around. So, so my text ends before the clip does, so I'm going to come right here and drag that to match so that the whole thing is jumpy, as you can see right there. And then when I click play, it's going to play all the way through. Now, let's say, what if you want to create a fade at the end of that, you could come in here and drag the timeline down just a little bit and bring your text out and it's going to stop jumping at the end because it's going past the end of the effect right there. So let me play this through. So the text stops at the end right there and you can drag this out even further if you want. So um, put pretty much anything in here that you want. But the purpose is, is that you want to give yourself some time for the text to finish whatever effect it's doing and then to do a fade on Final Cut. All right, so we have our example here. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, export this. So I'm going to come up here to File. And I'm going to choose Save. And let's just say FTH for Frank's Tech Help. And I'm going to save it on my desktop here. Oh, I'm sorry. Save it on my desktop here. Okay, so now this file is created, it's saved. I'm going to jump over here to Final Cut Express, and I've already imported a video clip that I created. This is part of one of my other little intro videos, okay? And I want to drop my live type in here. So I'm going to come up to File. I'm going to choose Import Files. And then I'm going to look on my desktop for the file that I created that says FTH, which it's right here. And I'm going to choose to open that or to import it. And where did it go? It's got, here it is, okay. Um, so I'm going to take this and drag it onto my timeline. Oh, my bad. Drag it onto my timeline here. And you're going to see there's my text. And it's going to jump around and do its little thing. Now, you see, oh, Frank's tech hip. Hip, hip me, hip me. All right, so I'm going to jump back over here. Now, this is an advantage. Um, let's say you've got your project saved. Instead of having to import everything again, since you still have live type open and this project is in, you can just go back in and type in the L, and you see that it's in line here. And when you go click File and choose Save, and you come back over here to Final Cut Express, Media Offline, Media Online. Wow, look, my L's there. So very helpful little thing about uh, using live type in combination um, with Final Cut Express is that you can make live updates instead of having to re-import the files and go through a bunch of trouble, you know, whether it be Photoshop or something else, you know, you're going to have to go back and then do another import and everything. So this everything updates live since it's used with 
hello, live type, you know, uh, gives a good meaning to it. So anyway, um, that's just a basic tutorial on how to create your initial text, how to add an effect, and then how to do little timeline editing and stuff like that, and how to get it into Final Cut Express. Now once this is in Final Cut Express, um, let's say uh, you can apply all the regular effects to this title. So you can highlight the title, you can come up to effects, choose video filters, and come down to, to distort and let's put a ripple let's put a ripple in it so there you have it it's rippling the text now as you can see so yeah, let's see I don't like that one very much so let's go back to effects and choose something else real quick and distort and uh, pond ripple how about that Ooh, look at that so anyway you can apply your regular effects okay to do all kinds of crazy stuff with the live type um, so um, uh, for Jane Michelle TV, this is you know part of the solution that I was talking about about using live type, and part of the reason I created this tutorial was for her as well. So um, there you have it, just a basic introduction on how to create um, text with live type and import it into Final Cut Express for titling and various other purposes. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please post a comment. And as always, thanks for watching. Frank's Tech Help. Peace. Hey boo, I heard you got back from Tokyo. Yeah, man, tell me all about your trip. What happened over there? Yeah, but check it out. Tokyo and